But more importantly, the Isaac Mohua group of Nagaland, the NSCN that you talk about, uh, when you uh, talked of a ceasefire, you know, the ce extended ceasefire or ceasefire itself, there was a huge amount of protest in other states, especially Manipur and other places. What was the misunderstanding about this word ceasefire when it was arrived with the government of India? What, 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 what went wrong with it or what was right with it? <laughs> no, before I say that, let me say one thing. The Naga issue are, is not about Nagaland. In fact, Nagaland out of all those states is a very peaceful state. The most peaceful is of course Mizoram. But thereafter, I have statistics with me for the last 20 years, 2002-2022, the total uh, insurgency related killings in all the states, you would find the least amount in Nagaland. Nagaland did not have many killings. The most affected was Manipur. Then Assam. These are the two states, Ulfa, Gilfa, and all those things, you know. So, a huge number of casualties there. In the Northeast, this is the lowest. And uh, in the whole of the country, even beating uh, the Assam, and I, I won't go into that. I was going talking about. Uh, the ceasefire uh, part of it. No, I, I wanted to talk about uh, the Kashmir and the Maoist. The Maoist killings and the Kashmir killings are much higher than uh, these things. But coming back to the Naga problem, the Naga problem is not really about Nagaland. It is about the Naga areas in other states in the Northeast. The problem is, there is a structural problem there. The Manipur problem, I would tell you, is uh, Manipur is uh, comprises of a valley, central valley, which is only about 20% of the total area. But it has about 60% of the population, Maitis. These are the Originally blue, blue-blooded uh, Maitis, you know, M Manipuris. The remaining area, about almost 70% uh, of the area is hills in Manipur. A small valley with huge population and uh, a big, about 70% area of hills surrounding this, habitated by tribals. There are major, two major tribes, the Nagas and the Kukis. These are the two people. So there is a constant conflict between the tribes in Nagaland, I mean the tribes in Manipur and the valley people there. Because of the higher educational qualifications, cultural this one. You know, till the British came and uh, sort of gave them English education and all that, the tribals were uh, sort of looked down upon by the, uh, the, the Maitis who are well educated scholarly, you know, a lot of civilizational, these things, uh, patterns of art, dance, drama. You know, Manipur has a fantastic drama, dance form, Manipuri dance and uh, sports. All these things were concentrated. So, there is a sort of disconnect between the valley and the, the people. And now, this gentleman, these are four districts there called uh, Ukrul, Tamenglong, uh, Senapati, and uh, one more, I am forgetting. The four districts of uh, predominantly Naga people in Manipur. And this gentleman, Muiwa, who is the general secretary, the most powerful man in the, this one, he is from Ukrul. So technically he is not from Nagaland. He is not from Nagaland at all. So a lot of these clashes took place in Manipur. Before ceasefire and all that, a lot of clashes used to take place in Manipur. Is that reason why they call it Naglim? Naga, yeah, I would, I would come to that. And in Assam, you know, a lot of areas in Assam, border areas are also inhabited by the Nagas. So the, the problem, the, the demand of those people was that we should create a greater Nagaland and uh, the word should be not Nagaland, it should be called Nagalim, means the, uh, the birthplace, the place of Nagas. The place of Naga. Naga Lim means the place of Nagas. That's what they wanted to do. So that's why the ceasefire, I mean to answer the ceasefire question, the agreement between the government of India, about ceasefire was between the government of India and a body called NSCNIM, National Socialist Council of Nagaland, in brackets, I am group, Isaac, Isaac and uh, Suvan uh, Muiva group. So they are saying, a, a ceasefire is between a militant group which is operating throughout the Northeast, other than in Tripura and uh, Mizoram, and the government of India. 
how can the ceasefire then be restricted only to Nagaland? In fact, Nagaland was not the main scene of uh, uh, trouble, main scene of conflict. The main scene of conflict was in the hill areas and the others of Manipur and in the hill areas, in the Naga areas and other areas of Assam, Naga areas and other areas of Arunachal Pradesh and all that. So that's where these people were concentrating their attacks. So if you confine it to only Nagaland, then they would attack somewhere else in retaliation. So it has to be a, a complete one. For example, a ceasefire in um, British uh, Second World War, it, it is all over the world, you know, it can't be one, one place, you know, ceasefire. So that was the interpretation. There was some controversy on that, uh, where the states, paramilitary forces, police forces are very strong. They felt that it should not be extended to their area. But where the state government uh, security forces are weak, they welcomed it in some places. That is like your next slide uh, ceasefire, where they allow themselves to be regrouped again. Yeah. And that is a chance for the militants to regroup. Very again. right. So it can't be a sort of uh, pick and choose. It, it has to be over the entire area. There was some controversy, but ultimately it was accepted. You know. Please subscribe to Nationalist Hub English channel for more interesting videos. And don't forget to like and share this video. Nationalist Hub, it's a news revolution.